Hello and welcome to the Blackboard Test Question Generator. This site can help faculty develop test questions for posting and distributing to their students on Blackboard. You can create multiple choice, fill in the blank, multiple answer, true or false, and full answer essay questions. When you're finished, the Test Question Generator will export a .txt or a .zip file that can be uploaded to Blackboard. Blackboard automatically turns this file into an interactive form that students will be able to complete, but there are precise formatting rules that must be followed so that Blackboard can properly convert the files. To begin, give your quiz a name in the text box here. The Blackboard Test Question Generator can be used in conjunction with existing test question files or used to build test questions from scratch. You can use the test generator to transfer test banks or other files from publishers into a format that Blackboard recognizes. Copy and paste the test file into the test generator and add asterisks to the correct answers. You can then use the test question generator to check the test questions for formatting accuracy before uploading them to Blackboard. Let's take a closer look at properly formatting questions in the test question generator for use in Blackboard. Once you get the hang of how the test question generator works, you can freely type questions into the text box. But for novice users, the test question generator has a convenient sample question generator so that you can generate a sample question in the proper format and change the content to suit your needs. Just select the type of question from the drop-down menu and click OK to place the sample question into the text box. To keep each question separate, keep one blank line between each question. There should not be any blank lines in the middle of a single test question. First, let's look at creating a multiple choice question. The number of the question must be followed by a period or a closed parentheses. The possible responses must start on the very next line and must be letters followed by a period or closed parentheses. To indicate which answer is correct, place an asterisk before the letter of the correct response. Let's take a look at how to create a multiple answer question. This is similar to a multiple choice question, except there is more than one correct answer to be selected from the list of options. The same formatting rules apply, just place asterisks in front of each correct answer in the list of options. You can select as many correct answers as you want. For a true or false question, place the question on the first line in front of a number, then type either true or false on the next line. An essay question that requires a full sentence answer doesn't need anything below the question line. Just leave a blank space and begin the next question. Lastly, the test question generator can create a fill-in-the-blank question. In this case, you'll have to put the word blank before the question number. After the question, which should have a blank line somewhere in it, enter all the possible ways someone taking the test could enter a correct answer. For instance, if the correct answer is a number, you'll want to be able to input the numerical and word value of the number and still have both be right. There is an alternate way to enter in each question without using numbers. Simply enter a two-letter code on a line above the question. Use MC for multiple choice, MA for multiple answer, TF for true or false, ES for essay question, or BL for a fill in the blank. It's important to keep the formatting of these example questions intact. Blackboard will not code the questions correctly if there are any errors in formatting. Use these example questions to ensure that the formatting stays consistent throughout your test. To test your questions for accuracy, you can click the Generate Test Questions button at the bottom of the screen. If your questions have all been entered correctly, they will appear in green, but if there's a problem with the formatting of a question, that question will appear in red. Once all your questions are properly formatted, you'll see two buttons appear at the bottom of the screen, Download Test Questions and Download Question Pool. Download Test Questions saves your questions in a text file, and Download Question Pool generates a zip file. Both files can be saved and uploaded to Blackboard, but have different purposes. Use Download Test Questions when you are adding the questions from the generator to an existing test, and select Download Question Pool when you want to save your generated questions for use in more than one test. To upload the text file with the questions to Blackboard, log in and go to a course section. In the menu on the left, scroll down to the Course Tools section, and select Tests, Surveys, and Pools. From your options, select Tests, and you can either choose to edit an existing test by just clicking here, or selecting Import Test. Go to Upload Questions, select Browse to find the file on your computer, and then click Submit. And there you have it. Your questions have been uploaded. To do the same thing with your zipped file, go back to the Test Surveys and Pools menu and select Pools. Select Import Pool from the menu at the top and select Browse My Computer to find the file. Click Submit. And there you go. Your question pool has been successfully uploaded to Blackboard, ready to be applied to any number of tests. 
I hope this helped you use the Blackboard Test Question Generator. Thanks for watching.